Welcome and welcome back to the Good Times We Share. Today we are making apple bread. We hope you enjoy this recipe as much as we do. And please don't forget to check the description down below for all the ingredients that you need. So to get right into it, what you need is 170 grams of pure apple flesh. So this should be an equivalent of about two small apples or one large apple. So you're just going to peel your apple and then you're going to cut them to remove the seeds. And what you're left with is what should give you 170 grams on the scale. So here you can use any type of apple that you prefer. And with time you get to realize which one you like the most. So I prefer grating my apples as opposed to cutting them. But if you do not mind having big chunks, you can just cut them up with a knife. So that is done. Getting another bowl, you're going to put in 180 grams of all-purpose flour, 100 grams of white sugar, 110 grams of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of baking soda, which you're just going to mix in there, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, which you're also going to mix in there. And then you're going to give everything a nice quick stir. So making sure everything is well mixed. And then you're going to put in a three quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. This is not optional. Make sure you put that cinnamon in there. Mix it up. Put in 120 ml of melted butter and two large beaten eggs. I should mention if you're not using soda butter like I did then when you're mixing your dry ingredients, you should put in a quarter teaspoon of salt. So mixing this up together, you can see it is all stiff, but not to worry. The apples are what brings in the moisture that we need. My apples have turned brown because I prepared them way earlier. If you don't like the look, then you can prepare them when you're just about to use them. So mixing this up whilst you're doing this, you're going to preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius for minimally about 10 minutes before you put, it, you put your bread in to bake. So once the mixture is all done, then you're going to put it into your prepared baking tin, spread it out really well. And when you put it into the oven, you're going to bake it for minimally 55 minutes. At about 55 minutes, you should start shaking your bread. If it's still jiggly when you move your baking tin, then you know it is not cooked yet. When it stops moving around in the baking tin, then pass through a fork or a knife if it comes out clean then your bread is baked so cutting through just to see the inside ours is nicely baked and you can still see some chunks of apple which is all good so we hope you enjoy this recipe as much as we did buon appetito a tutti until next time please let us know what you think don't forget to share like and subscribe Buon appetito a tutti. Until next time, it's bye-bye.